We're taking a friend on the desert bus straight into Black Friday this week on Boss Battle. Find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh? Check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at SliceOnBroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. Welcome everybody to Boss Battle number 170, a show in which the writers of InsertPointToBegin.com get together and talk about video games. I'm your more mature host, Bobby F. J. Town, but before we get to the infotainment and good time making of this podcast, let's see what everybody achieved this week. Chachi, how about you? What'd you achieve? Hey, you guys want a cat? No. I got your cat. I got five of them right now. I, I have a black, white, brown, calico, tan, turtle. That's what you need, player. Chachi is now a cat. That's what you yeah. need. That's great. Chachi, are you living on the island of Dr. Moreau where you can and splice a cat and a turtle together? No. Um, actually, I, all I did this week was play Call of Duty. Uh, I'm okay. not even going to lie. Um, that is all I did. All multiplayer. Um, I'm really good with the sniper rifle in this game. Oh, no. <laughs> Like, really good. Um, like, if you run in front of my scope, you're probably going to die. <laughs> even if you Chachi don't run... Chachi is now that guy. If, even mm-hmm. if you don't... I, like, I can't quick scope yet. Um, yet. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Can you 360 no-scope? No, of course not. Uh, <laughs> I am not pro enough for that. <laughs> I will try, though, for you, Riz. Yes. Um, but uh, yeah, that's all. I, um, funny thing I, I found out about this Call of Duty game is they didn't put in a uh, map limit. So when you're when you're generating new games in in multiplayer in the previous versions, you could only do the same map like three times, mm-hmm. and then it'll force it would force you to change uh, different maps. You remember that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, they don't have that anymore. <laughs> You could literally sit there and play Domination on Nuketown 3 for two and a half hours. You want to know how I know this? You did Because I did it. (laughs) And you know what? I'm not even mad about it. I'm really good at Domination on Nuketown 3 now. But uh, yeah, that's all I did. All right. Uh, Sorg, what did you achieve this week? Uh, I achieved the completion. Achieved? Achieved? I achieved the completion of Jessica Jones, so I played the Netflix game. Uh, but no, I, I did. Um, I did actually pull up a little bit of Mortal Kombat on my phone and got back to that. Oh no, dude, dude! I was playing Tekken Four today because I was waiting nice. for a DVD to re-render because I was having a lot of mistakes. Uh, and I have I've had the PS2 hooked up in in the um in the Sorgatron Media office, not the one of my many offices apparently. And, uh, and and I've been trying to play like Guitar Hero every once in a while when I get stuck with a render or something on there, because uh, that computer is really slow. And uh, I figured I'd just kind of take the opportunity to do a little bit of gaming, at least like some old school, throw something in, play it for a little bit. Um, and I was having trouble loading a, a Queens of the Stone Age song, so I threw in some Tekken Four and played some of that for no reason at all. So nice. holds up pretty well. Yeah, but but your Netflix also counts because I got an achievement for watching WWE Network at like one a.m. Wait, you, actually, you actually did get an achievement on. I got an achievement called uh, like Night Hour or something like that oh, for yeah. zero gamer points, but still it was it was an still achievement. still I'm gonna have to load it up <laughs> it on my 360 again. again, Bobby. Yep. All right, all right, Riz, what did you achieve this week? Uh, I played, of course, uh, Battlefront and a uh, little bit of a little bit of Call of Duty, a little bit of WB16. I actually tried to do my first Royal Rumble in that didn't work too well uh and also of course wait hold on time out yes are you going to do the rumble with Kali? i can't oh he's not in the game that's right he's not in the game (laughs) he's not in the game don't don't break his heart (laughs) what about curtis axel you can do it i might do it with curtis axel i did it i did pretty good with uh Colonel Mustafa, which is pretty impressive. <laughs> I think I got to about number 15. He's in there? On that one. Yeah. yeah. Colonel Mustafa. The uh, entire uh, nation is in there. I no, saw no, it. not the nation. No, no, no. that's the Sergeant Sawyer's man. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, no, the, the nation's in there, too, because I saw that yeah, in the commercial. 
And also, uh, Sword General Adnan is also in there. Yes! <laughs> Why? I don't know. Uh, but anyways, Fallout 4 is mainly my go-to game right now. Because, my god, that, that game is... The game yep. is pretty good. Is, is an understatement. It's pretty damn good. Bobby! I also played fallout 4 yes you did uh very much so i got to diamond city finally um i it's nice isn't it oh yeah i like it um did you I, I, I was like a typical uh fallout 4 tourist and bought a baseball uniform oh. as soon as i got there did, did you buy a did you buy a slugger i didn't buy a slugger because i already had a, a spiked baseball bat that i made so i was like nah i don't need a slugger oh no not a slugger a swatter a swatter yeah um ah. but uh yeah I'm enjoying this game. Um, I'm You're trying welcome. to find the alien crash site, but it won't. It won't. Uh, won't uh, come about for me. But yeah, I, I like it a lot. Um, can, you, can you explain the uh, alien crash site? Uh, crash site. Crash. Uh, the alien crash, su- crash site. Yeah, is yeah, guys. it's a spawning event that you can get an alien blaster. It's in. It's in pretty much every Fallout game. Mm-hmm. Um, and you find the alien, once the, the, the ship crashes, you go into this cave and there's an alien in there and you take, you kill him and take your, take your, his weapon. So I'm trying to do that. Cool. <laughs> yeah. So, um, that's what I achieved this week. Um, Chachi, you want to take us around the internet? It's now time for a video game theme days around the internet. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> or whatever the hell sword called it earlier. <laughs> I'm so I'm just I'm just seeing I'm mixing it up I'm mixing it up I'm trying to get you more people. I know I was bored at that time. That's why I started messing with you. <laughs> then you sent oh, me a God. very offensive video in response. What's that? Then you sent me a very offensive video I in did. response. I forgot how offensive that video is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot of the N word. I thought I thought Wheels was talking to me. Wow, it was That's not that, cool. that bad. It was it that was, bad. It was the the clip of kevin hart with uh the other black guy in the tech store in uh 40 year old virgin oh where yeah they, where uh, they throw the i was like back and forth like 35 times in 10 seconds <laughs> <laughs> I, I forgot i forgot how offensive that really is and, and then, said, and then he follows kevin up hart, and then he follows uh, up by wow. dming me the clip okay. from zach and miri about black friday yeah <laughs> No, it was Kevin. No, that Hart. was Kevin Hart. Oh, what was it? Okay. Cameo was Kevin Hart. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, but I you know, know. The things of a video game around nature. Around <laughs> <laughs> um, so, fourteen-year-old completed a Rubik's cube in four point nine oh four seconds. Mm. Whoa! Not kidding, because you can watch it. Yep. From um, and and I put it in there because while Rubik's cube solving is a huge thing. Um, I don't feel like this should count. Why? Because they're using modified cubes. What? Um, that allow for a super quick turning. So test him for modified cubes. <laughs> um, so, Billy, Mitchell, I mean, Billy Mitchell would have a problem with that. Yeah. yeah. He's just saying. Um, we'll get to him later. <laughs> but, uh, so, yeah, I mean, it, it's, while it's cool, I don't think it should count as a world record. Um, next up, Amazon is a awesome ass amiibo stand available for 20 bucks mm-hmm. that is amazing yeah um if i collected amiibos i would get one but since i don't collect amiibos i will I not have three and i'm that's probably too much for me yeah <laughs> um but essentially what it is is it's the uh the stairs from uh, the end of every super mario brothers level mm-hmm. uh, with the flag and you can uh, configure them as you as you need to um as far as platforms go uh, so, and last but not least, someone, uh, first off, let me state that it has gone too far. Um, <laughs> I will go ahead and say that this should be where it ends. Um, they should just shut modding off completely because someone recreated the Teletubbies intro using Grand Theft Auto V. And wow. to this minute, I cannot figure out why anyone would want to do that. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, um, it's a thing. It shouldn't be a thing. And, and now they're dancing. And yeah. now they should just shut it off. Shut it down. Time yeah. to go home. I mean, I mean, it was it was fun when when you know Skyrim had 
Macho Man mods on it, mm-hmm. like right. Macho Man dragons. But th- this is too much, guys. This, yeah, that, this, this, this is too much. Dear internet, you can stop modding video games now. The, the internet <laughs> is over now. Thank you, guys. You have reached the end. There is nowhere else to go. Um. So yeah, uh, that's all I have for you this week of video game three things from around the internet. Net, 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 net. Back to you, Bobby. All right, it's time for some things you should be made aware of. Bungie has unveiled a pyramid scheme that finally benefits everyone. Uh, Destiny has started a refer a friend program in which both players will benefit by getting cool loot in the game. Uh, if you both have uh, the Taken King, uh, you can get the Link of Friendship XP bonus buffs, a new EV34 Vector in Infinite Sparrow, and your choice of three Elemental Kinblade Legendary Swords. Also, you get access to uh, bonus uh, the Hunt for Loot quest, along with a new Infinite Link Shader, uh, Sign of the Infinite Emblem, and two new emotes, the Duo Dance and High Five. Um, so that's cool. I mean, to get more people into to, to Destiny. Um, I mean, they already announced that they had, like, uh, 35 million people playing the game, I think. Yeah, pretty much. So, it's it's a growing community. I mean, it it's is. A fun game. It, it is, but you have you're, you're referring a friend to do something that you've done, and you have to wait until they're done. You yeah, they have to catch up. <laughs> yeah, but so they get a high five guys. emoji. Yeah, you can high five them, saying, "Hey, good job! You beat the level <laughs> finally that I beat one year ago today." I just picture when you high five them, they fly across the map. <laughs> because <laughs> you're so overpowered uh, alright um, Mark Cuban the owner of the NBA's Dallas Mavericks uh, with local ties to Pittsburgh um, uh, is in the esports the owner of everything yeah. he wants to own um, he's so much in the esports that during a charity event of League of Legends match um, he dropped an F-bomb Leading to a field reporter, to, to field reporter Christine Leahy, to tell him that he's been fined fifteen thousand dollars. To which Mr. Cuban replied, "Fuck it." <laughs> no. Good job, to which, Bobby. Good to job. which he was fined another fifteen thousand dollars. But the fines were in a good cause and benefited the Cyber Smile Foundation. Yeah, yeah hold uh, on. First off, okay. Um, in an interview with her, he had said, "Fuck it." Yeah. Uh, she had purposely pointed out that he had said fuck it yeah. <laughs> and that he would be fined fifteen thousand uh, dollars that would go to charity. Yeah. <laughs> and he was like, Oh, is that it? He's like, So if I say it again, that's another fifteen grand and she mm. said yes and he responded, Fuck it. <laughs> so I would just like to point out that I'm only saying it because that's how the conversation went. Yeah. That's exactly what he said. So Yeah. <laughs> Um, um, but but the Cyber Small Foundation, which is a charity to prevent cyberbullying, um, the charity netted netter- around thirty eight thousand dollars in fines from the event, most of it from Mr. Cuban. <laughs> Mark Cuban also came to bed for esports when he called Colin, Co- Colin Cowherd an idiot yep. when Cowherd disparaged esports and said they shouldn't be in the same coverage of sports that or that sports rece- receive. Um, does this mean Mr. Cuban may want to front his own esports team in the future? Um, not much is known in this time, but it's a possibility. I mean, he is very rich. He, so. he is, if I remember correctly, he was one of those guys who was, who is really big into stuff like uh, WoW and League mm-hmm. of Legends. Uh, so he's a nerd like us. He's a nerd. <laughs> he's a very, very rich nerd who can say "fuck it" every time, mm-hmm. and and just hand out paychecks to charities for this <laughs> we need swearing. to start we need to start a jar at a quarter every time we swear oh man i would have filled that <laughs> i would have filled that up probably a few thousand dollars in i don't quarters. have enough fucking quarters <laughs> oh, well there and goes the explicit it, tag. tag this you job. know you this know one, if we had that your fault, Bobby. if we I had know. that since the beginning of wrestling mayhem show we would not need a patreon <laughs> All right, and other fines and litigation news. Uh, King of Kong, a fistful of quarters villain, Billy Mitchell recently took his battle with Cartoon Network, uh, the the Cartoon Network show regular show, uh, to court over using his likeness in an episode where the characters went uh, head-to-head with a giant character named Garrett Bobby Ferguson, who looks a little bit like Mr. Mitchell. 
No, a little bit. A little bit. And had his video game playing title taken away from him. (laughs) Not a little bit. According to the – wait, wait, wait. We'll get to that. According to the Associated Press, the New Jersey federal district judge Ann Thompson, who presided over the case, threw the case out when she ruled that the preposterousness of Mr. Mitchell's allegations, the cartoonishly evil character, as Thompson referred to him, is a direct representation – Thompson put it perfectly in her final ruling. The television character does not match the plaintiff in appearance. Garrett Bobby Ferguson appears as a non-human creature, a giant floating head with no body from outer space, while the plaintiff is a human being, she wrote. (laughs) And when Garrett Bobby Ferguson loses his title, the character literally explodes, unlike the plaintiff. (laughs) Obviously, Uh, she hasn't seen King of Kong. Billy Mitchell, what's that? Obviously, she hasn't seen King of Kong. No, she yeah, has yeah. Not. <laughs> um, he keeps eating that or making that hot sauce will explode. <laughs> in other ways. <laughs> uh, but Billy Mitchell also lost his Donkey Kong title shortly after the documentary was released. However, he still holds the record for having the first perfect Pac-Man game score of 3.3 million points. Um, do you guys have anything to add to that? <laughs> uh, first of all, first of all, I w- I, hold on, time out, guys. All right, all right. First of all, to that judge in New Jersey, <laughs> she has just trolled Billy Mitchell yeah, on a level yeah. that no one else will ever be well, able to troll. On a side note, if you've never seen King of Kong, A Fistful of Quarters, go see it now. Drop everything. Pause the podcast. Come back after you're done. It's it's worth it. I, I promise you. One of the best movies, documentary movies of all time. Anyhow, go ahead, Ruth. I'm sorry. Uh, no, I was going to say, first of all, um, side by side, I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked <laughs> that there is no resemblance to <laughs> Billy Mitchell in this one. Is, <laughs> is that judge blind? Yeah. like, like <laughs> He's yes, not a floating yes, head from outer space with arms sticking out of his no, face. No, he, he, he has a gigantic head. He does. Uh, but That's because he ties his American tie so tight. <laughs> it is. but And also his giant ego. Yeah. Um, allegedly. No, no. <laughs> no one sued for Not him. allegedly. No one sued for Mr. Mitchell. I have, I have seen him play Donkey Kong. He <laughs> is probably one of the most weirdest people I've seen playing Donkey Kong. Mm-hmm. Um, but, dude, come on. It's a, it's a, it's a TV show. Don't don't explode over it, buddy. <laughs> he can't. Well, He's a human being. <laughs> you know, the hot sauce uh, industry is taking kind of a hit this year, um, thanks to Sriracha. Mm-hmm. Um, so he was probably just looking to make recoup the cost that he lost this year um, through frivolous lawsuits. Yep, You're, exactly. Yeah. yeah. First it was I mean, our old old school arcade action. Now it's hot sauce getting taken yeah. away from him. So All right. <laughs> All right. Desert Bus for Hope, which is one of the oldest gaming charity events, concluded its latest run after a grueling 159 hour drive across the virtual desert, <laughs> setting a record for nine consecutive years. Um, desert Bus for Hope raised $677,188 over its six day, 15 hour span, beating last year's $643,242.58. Uh, since 2007, the fund has raised more than three, $3 million for Child's Play, the Penny Arcade charity that gives video games, toys, and other recreational items to hospitals serving kids with serious illnesses. Uh, the week-long event uh, is run by the comedy team Loading Ready uh, Run of v- Victoria, British, Col- British Columbia, Canada. Um, straps in its driver the, – the, they strap in the driver for eight-hour shifts shifts at the wheel of Desert Bus, a deliberately awful mini-game from the unreleased Penn & Teller Smoke & Mirrors for Sega CD uh, back in the mid-1990s. If you're not familiar with that game, it's basically you driving a bus through the desert. Okay, okay. I, I, I for- find myself <laughs> channel surfing Twitch on, on like Saturday or Sunday night a couple weeks ago when they were starting this, apparently. And, mm-hmm. uh, and I had to look more into it, right? And mm-hmm. yeah. It is basically yeah. this. This is one of the mini games, and it's supposed to trick your friends. And basically, it's an eight-hour trip 
from, I think, Las Vegas to Tucson. Tucson, Arizona to right. Las Vegas right. in real time. In real time. And, and you if can't you go... run off the road. Wait, 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 wait. wait. So the bus okay. doesn't go more than 45 miles per hour. Mm-hmm. Okay. The distance is the real distance. Mm-hmm. Uh, after about five hours or something, a bug splatters on your windshield. That's uh, the only thing that The happens. screen basically <laughs> just looks like this the entire time. Yep. And your bus, uh, uh, your bus skews, I think, to the right, so you always have yeah. to pay attention, or you run off the road. If you run yeah. off the road and wreck, <laughs> this is the best part of it. <laughs> in real time, a tow truck will come get you and take you back to your point of origin, mm-hmm. whichever no. that may yes. be. In real time. And did you start over again? This was wait, a wait, Sega wait, CD wait, wait, wait. game. In real time. So you're saying if I'm like seven hours into this mm-hmm. thing, and I just veer off the road and crash. Mm-hmm. It's seven hours back. Yep. Mm-hmm. You get towed back seven and if hours. You, I, I think might it, go insane if I play. Wait, I forget. Do you have to wait seven hours for the tow truck to get there? I think uh, so. I'm not sure. I think so. From what I was reading, I think oh my so. Gosh. Um, and, and then I think if, I forget if it's when you reach your destination or you make the round trip back. Because when you get to the destination, you have like like 30 seconds to say, yes, go back. Or you don't. And I think after you go back, you get a point. So now, <laughs> go look at high scores for Desert Bus and realize how insane people are. <laughs> Knowing it takes, maybe if I got this right, 16 hours to score one point. Wow. Yeah. And there's people who have it on auto. There, there's yeah, something. I, I know there's something, but still. So that's the deal, and that's that's this is their telethon, and um and and they have tickers for them. They, they were doing tickers. Doing they were doing auctions. So it's not just they're sitting there watching these people. There's people sitting there and they're talking and 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 doing the live stream thing, you know, uh for several days and since shifts. So it's 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 a pretty it was a pretty cool thing, and it, it captured my attention before I even heard let's, of any of this let's, stuff. Let's be honest here. Mm-hmm. Twitch, tw- Twitch viewers have watched everything in a marathon. Yes, yeah. GG. yes they have. See Bob Ross. GG. Yep. <laughs> GG. So, so good on them for doing something for charity. I like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a few charity oh, things. GG, Bob right. Ross, and, and, GG. And you know, Sorg, if you if you do decide to play Desert Bus, yes. there's only one way to do it. you got to have somebody deliver some pizza fuel. to you. Like Slice on Broadway, our friends at SliceOnBroadway.com. Some great stuff here along the tracks and beach view in the South Hills of Pittsburgh. If you're visiting us or you happen to live here, lucky you. Uh, or in the uh, on, down on Main Street in Carnegie, PA. Carnegie, PA. Mike. Uh, yeah. Go check them out uh, at SliceOnBroadway.com. Some great stuff. Pizza from scratch. Tasty, tasty stuff. I recommend the Gonzo order off menu. You will thank me. And, uh, and 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 check them out. Say hi to Rico and the guys down there. Follow them on Twitter, PGH underscore Slice on the Twitter. And check them out on Facebook and the Instagram so you can get hungry too. Let them know you heard about them here on The Boss Battle with InsertCoinToBegin.com. Let's see what happened last week. A very sexy week with Sawtooth Willie on, on uh, SorgatronMedia.com and so much more. Be right back. Sawtooth got business to attend to. Welcome to the future and skipping about 10 years of technology. You didn't even have to go through the, the Palm Trio days no, or no, the Blackberry Trio. days. You didn't even have to go through the days where we didn't have cut and paste on iOS. <laughs> You're playing a professional, right, yeah, who's yeah. playing the wrestling character. So those yeah. two layers exist in the game. The reward systems in the game are all about, like, you can get more cool stuff for your character. You can raise your stats. You can get new moves. Uh, you can get a valet. You can maybe gain more booking authority, change your gimmick, all that kind of stuff. Going on ads in wrestling, I think the uh, the greatest one I've ever seen is the King of the Ring 1998 promo package where it's like Hell in the Cell with Taker and, and Mankind. And it was like First Blood with Austin and Kane. And then it just goes into Super Soaker. It brings you. <laughs> <laughs> Super Soaker of Blood. It belong to me now. <laughs> ha! Turn the camera off! Wow. We did so much this week. How about it, guys? So much things! So much things and stuff. Wow. All right. So much things. <laughs> Uh, Black Friday, the time of year when you've eaten your fill of turkey and stuffing, we proceed to fill to get our fill of consumerism as well. 
Um, the time has come for bargain shoppers to fill the stores and their carts with bargain deals. Uh, we here at Insert Coin to begin want you to be happy this Christmas. Uh, so I've assembled a, all the best deals from Black Friday. Um, so here we go. We're going to talk about them. Best Buy has an 8 o'clock a.m. doorbuster on Friday morning. I don't know why it's at 8 o'clock in the morning. It should have been like 6 in the morning. Um, but you get an Xbox One with a Lego movie game and a 40-inch class LED 1080p HD TV for only $499.98. Jeez. What do you wow. guys think of that one? Riz, Riz, you don't have an Xbox One. Wow. <laughs> uh, like, how, how big of a TV? 40 inch. I mean, yeah, 40... 40, not 40, 40 feet, 40 inch. 40 inches, a 40 inch TV. Yes. And an Xbox One. And an Xbox One. And so a that's video. not a bad deal for 49, 499, that's crazy. That's good luck. Pretty damn good deal. Good luck. Yeah, yeah that's good luck getting that. Like Somebody's going to get stabbed. All right, uh, GameStop has a bunch of games on sale, along with an Uncharted Collection edition of P- or PS4 for $299.99. Um, uh, the, I know the Unchar- Uncharted Collection has been like, listed everywhere else too um for that much so that might be just like a, a general just saying hey we have it too guys hey, we have it too please, um please target in. also has a bunch of games and a 32 gigabyte super smash brothers slash platoon edition of the wii u for 249.99 so that you that's have, a deal for that. you have got interested. my attention yeah that that both those games are like the crown jewel of the Wii U lineup yeah, so yeah, far yeah. until Zelda comes out. <laughs> and hey, remind everybody. Uh, but, but if I didn't have uh, a, a Wii U, I would have probably jumped all over that. Mm-hmm. And I also have both Splatoon and uh, Smash, so... Yeah, I, I can't afford any of them, so... <laughs> Um, but Amazon also has lightning deals going on all the time. Um, Toys R Us, Walmart, they have a lot of games on sale as well. Um, have you guys seen anything that's jumped out to you as far as Black Friday deals, as far as games? Uh, for games, I have not really focused my attention on like games per se. I know mm-hmm. there's some flash deals for PlayStation Plus mm-hmm. on now. Uh, Same with the Microsoft know. Store. Uh, the Microsoft oh, Store this year didn't really have much as far as like games. Um, I'm thinking they're going to hold off till cyber Monday, as far as the deals go on, on the yeah. Xbox games. Um, uh, the, probably the best deal on the Microsoft store, I think was dark souls two for like 20 bucks. That is, that is a really good deal. Yeah. I think, I think that's like one of the better deals, like, you know, dying a lot. But. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, and they also had a, a bundle with Forza six and uh, gears of war. The uh, enhanced edition, enhanced edition, for like sixty bucks. So that's two yeah, games for so, the price of one. So right now we have, uh, for for it's called the co-op sale. They're co-oping mm-hmm. with Amazon. Uh, okay. On sale right now is Far Cry Four for nineteen bucks, or nineteen dollars and eighty cents. Uh, the Handsome Collection for about twenty four bucks, and Battlefield Hardline. For nineteen ninety nine, so and, and all, all Ultimate Street Fighter four for fourteen ninety nine. That's not bad for that game. And also, one of the ones I'm gonna try to get is uh, Payday two Crime Wave Edition. Twenty bucks. Wow. But that, but that brings me to the final battle question: Are you guys going to take advantage of any of these deals, or do you think that like would you rather spend Black Friday? At home playing games, or would you rather be out getting deals for games that you could play later? Oh, I, I'm gonna play video games. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I already, I already have the games I want. Mm-hmm. That's that's pretty much it. Gotcha. I won't buy video games until January, so um, I, I don't, I just don't buy video games in December. <laughs> no. <laughs> You just got an Xbox too, so yeah, yeah. So I got everything. So I, have. I mean, I mean, and another thing is. For the past three or four weeks, there has been new game after mm-hmm. new game after new game, right. and we need a, I need a break. <laughs> my 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 I'm, uh, my wallet's like screaming at me right now. <laughs> stop it! Stop, stop buying these things. 
just play them already, please. The the one game I would like cave in and get is the da- the Taken King or Legendary Edition of uh, Destiny because I want that, but I don't want to pay an exorbitant amount of money for it. Um. Well, that's I, not going to be that's I know, a big ticket though, so that's not going to be like the, a. The two DLC packs are are thirty five dollars just for the take or the other two, and then the Taken King is twenty dollars itself. Hey, hey, notice what we didn't uh, oh. uh, go go on for deals. Hmm. We didn't go on Steam yet. Oh, I don't even. I, think I'm about trying. That. I'm, I just clicked dude, the dude, link, dude, and dude, I'm gonna be know, so sad because I did. You you know what's sad though? Um, I your wallet. You know what's sad? We were talking about this a little bit on Awesome Cast too. Um, if I say another side deal, uh, there's actually a family pack thing from Microsoft that includes like Microsoft Office, uh, Xbox Live, and a few other goodies for like a hundred. Not a game so for like a no, well, Xbox no, Live though. Xbox Live, Xbox Live, for Microsoft like, Office, family and Office, yeah. Microsoft oh, Live oh. Office, and a, all of it, and like <laughs> Skype unlimited calling and a couple other That's features funny. from Microsoft I, for like 150 bucks. It's supposed to be a pretty good deal. Well, you get games along with that when you get you got yeah. Live, of course. And the Clippy's cheaper, adventure. Clippy's ab- no, damn it, <laughs> damn it, Bobby. It it, it relates. Um, and I forgot. Oh, uh, so so Steam. Like we've all been like nuts about the Steam digital sales and everything like that. And mm-hmm. now, like now, Xbox has them, right? And everybody's doing it. A- a- everybody yeah. can do it. So now everybody gets to buy way too many games, like I have on my mm-hmm. Steam collection. <laughs> and uh, because really, my Xbox collection okay. looks like the uh, same. So, so I, f- I, I went on the week-long deals. Uh, first one I see for for three dollars and seventy four cents, you get drunken robot pornography. What what pray tell is I that? Don't, I don't know. Are you gonna buy it and test it and then do a review I on the site? Might. I, I might. <laughs> That that title alone is is very very tempting. On a side note, my laptop can only play Clippy's Adventure, so <laughs> that's uh, the only super, game I can play. Super Noah's Ark 3D. Whoa! Super with 3D the, Noah's with Robot Ark Porno <laughs> is two ninety nine in a bundle with Robot. No, it is not with a bundle. Uh, uh, these are all just like um, it looks like they're just more indie games than anything. Uh, I've never heard of any of these. Especially the uh, drunken robot pornography. I just want to say that over and over again. Now. The drunken robot pornography, the binding of uh, Isaac, and the Super Noah's Ark. <laughs> Super 3D Noah's Ark. You guys just take twenty bucks on a Steam sale and just buy every indie game you can, every weird one, yeah. and just like have like three months of reviews. Seriously. <laughs> Ace Man Sparkles Two. That's a good one, I guess. For one forty nine. So yeah, there's the there's there's a lot of indie games on here for now. Um, I haven't seen any big games yet, so I'm gonna. And I'm sure like Think Geek and all them will have your like uh, video game oh, swag stuff. Probably have hum- humble bundle. Yeah, they're, they're, they're having uh, Think Geek's having like uh, four things every day leading up to Black Friday. Uh, and I don't know what they're gonna have on Black Friday or Cyber Monday, so I'm looking at them for stuff. So there's a lot going on, um, but that's going to do it for us this week. Enjoy your turkey. Enjoy your stuffing. You can follow us on Twitter at InsertCoinTV. You can visit us at InsertCoinToBegin.com. New articles going up daily, and you can join us live each and every Tuesday night at 8 o'clock on live.sorgatronmedia.com. Sorg, do you have any plugs? Plug in all the things. We're actually going in a little bit of a hibernation mode for the holidays here, but oh, stay cool. tuned. Maybe there'll be something special in your feed. We're still figuring that I'm out not a bear. for the holidays. What? I'm not a bear. I don't want to hibernate. Wait, are we done for the year? No. Oh. Yeah, that's what I thought, too. I'm like, wait, what? Anyways. Chachi. We Chachi, do you have any plugs? No, just Chachi says, hey, hey, hey. What? Cat? what? You guys want a cat? I no. Got you. I got your cat. Hook up. No plugging of live animals on the podcast. Got your cat. Hook up. Wait, I can give you a white. Chachi. 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 Yeah. How much is a cat, buddy? How much is a cat? How much is a cat? For you? Five American dollars. Five dollars. Five American dollars. All right. Um, five, Riz, any five plugs? Five Canadian-style dollars. <laughs> Riz, any plugs? Uh... 
check out Riz Plays Games. I'm probably going to put up my uh, the, the episode two of Minecraft story mode. I, I, I posted episode one about, I, mean, I finished episode one about two weeks ago, so check that out. Uh, also, insertcoinbegin.com and at Riz Plays Games on Twitter. On the twits. All right, and I am at Bobby F J Town. I got my uh, Black Friday article. If you want to check out some of those deals, um, I linked all the websites where you can buy the various things. And I'm probably going to be writing a uh, article about uh, swag that we that might be available on Black Friday as well. Swag. So, happy Thanksgiving. Game over. Game over, yeah. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.